Uh, my dad died when I was four. My mom went into like a uh, catatonic depression, basically. So pro wrestling was, when I say it's my life, it, it was really what saved me and gave me a direction. Um, I should, for all intent and purposes, be the bad kid, the jailed kid, the drug addict kid. Um, but the addiction and escape I found was pro wrestling. Pro wrestling allowed me to save myself. I am Darren Childs. I am the embodiment of the American dream. I was a six-year-old kid uh, flipping through Fox and uh, Saturday morning, Macho Man Randy Savage. Uh, so many colors, the tassels. Uh, and I just sat down with a notebook and just started drawing his outfits. Um, and that is how I became a fan of professional wrestling. And from that very day, I was hooked. It was my entire life. I knew exactly what I was going to do for the rest of my life at six years old. And uh, I took that and I ran with it. And that has been my entire life. From the time I was 17, I've been in the professional wrestling business. Started it in December of 2006. That was our first show. We run out of a bar in downtown Austin, Texas called Mohawk, the coolest bar ever. This place has let me do the wildest, craziest stuff from barbed wire, broken glass. We set people on fire from time to time. And that was kind of the concept originally was just bring in the best wrestling, show people what they're really missing, and make everybody else have to be better. And now, Texas is like one of the hotbeds, it's one of the top three places in the country to wrestle. I show up around two, that's when Mohawk likes to open the building. My ring crew shows up, throws that together in like a matter of 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, that's an art. That's the puzzle. Is they, if you watch, they like use protractors to make sure that the angles are all correct, so the ropes are right, and the undertow will pull it perfectly. And there won't be any kind of excuse, and no one would get hurt, or any boards will pop out. Bell time. I have to have the whole card, and people have to know what they're doing. So I have to put everything down on paper, and then discuss it with each match. You know, like, this is what you're doing tonight. Yeah, yeah. Right, this is, we can wrestle later, this is the finish. Like, the bulk of the story we tell, like... Why are we fighting these idiots that have a puppet? I think it'd be cool if, if we got him in the corner and started a chop fest yeah. and do one of those, like, uh, I guess it's like a Shakara spot where eventually like, it's kind of like, No, what are you doing? Yeah. And the next person moves me. I'm so sorry for your chest, man. <laughs> it's all right. I <laughs> 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 So the term is hardcore. Um, it's basically like, sometimes you just sell violence. Pro wrestling from day one was sold on a fight. Um, back whenever I was starting pro wrestling, it was a world of rebellion. And during that time, started a craze called hardcore wrestling. Um, just blood and guts. And they loved violence, they loved sex, they loved everything that was taboo. <laughs> People just started slicing and dice, and it really started in Japan. They did stuff like exploding barbed wire death matches. So they would take down the ropes, uh, circle the ring in barbed wire, and then electrify that so anytime you hit it, not only were you hitting the barbed wire and getting sliced up, but it would literally put out like a percussion and explode.
Again, it sold, man. It sold real well. And there's a term in the pro wrestling business that uh, red equals green. And that is true to this day. It's a roller coaster and a wave of people coming in and out, which is how it's supposed to be. You don't want people to get too comfortable at a level that they don't want to finish at. We want to make you a star. We want to make you have fun. We want to open up that creativity. And more than anything, we want you to get comfortable enough to get noticed. We live these personas and uh, it's just something we hang on to. And I think it's the people that we attract are a little bit off. That is really what I'm trying to do, is give people an opportunity to save themselves, to find themselves, to live their dreams. Uh, that is what six-year-old me really felt, was I have nothing but this. And that is why I'm okay with my place in independent wrestling. And I don't need anything else. I've already been rewarded. Uh, I have my pro wrestling kids.